Hey guys, welcome back to another Professor Layton and the Curious Village. On our last episode, we finally met Lady Dahlia. Uh, she's very interesting. She's very pretty. I gotta say that. But unfortunately, her cat, Lady, uh, her cat, uh, what is it, Claudia, ran away because of a loud noise. And so now we gotta go find her, the cat. So uh, we are here at the town square, I guess, the, the clock area. So let's investigate, find out where the cat is located at. All right, so first, let's talk to this guy. Oh, dick it. Hmm. Yeah, I saw that cat. I must scratch out your eyes. Help catch her, you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scruffy off westward. She had fangs the size of daggers. Well, you had teeth the size of... a Jurassic... dinosaur. Alright. I think you met him already. I'm still looking for the blasted cringe, but I still see too much red in anything done. Huh. What kind of punk pulls a prank like this? Alright, so I'm guessing we gotta go west, right? Oh, I almost forgot. Another uh, another puzzle, Professor? We ought to visit the local inn and see if we can we if we can't procure some room for the night. Sounds good to me, Professor! I was certain I saw an inn near the entrance to the village, just south of the plaza we're in. Let's head over right now and see if we can set up a lodging. Is it this one right here? Yeah, yeah, this is the end, right? This is the town hall. What business do you have here? You just moved town. I strongly advise you you fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all town hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You can start with this one. Uh, what form is this? Oh, it's not a form, it's a puzzle. The hell is this one? Okay. Here are two shapes, one large and one small. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pen into the ink one time gives you just ink, enough ink to draw four little triangles. As depicted by the shape on the left. So, with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape on the right that's made up of 36 triangle? Okay. Okay, dip one. So, let me, let me do the... So, dip one. Dip two, dip three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? I don't know actually. Hello. Can you give me a hint? Unlock any hint. Each hint costs you one coin. Yeah, let's try it. To draw the smaller four triangle shape, you actually only need to draw three triangles. To see for yourself, trace the shape on the screen. Notice how the middle triangle, triangle three in this shape is actually made up of the sides of the other triangle. Ah, I'm still more confused. Each is made up of little triangles. Dipping your fountain pens into the ink one time gives you just enough ink to draw four little triangles as depicted by the shape on the left. So what? So with that in mind, how many times do you have to dip your pen in the ink in order to draw the shape? Okay. 
Pray, race. Seven. Seven? Is it seven? Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, baby! Seven. How do you- how do you even know that? That's correct. Your first impulse might have been to divide the triangle by four, but a closer look shows that each four triangle cluster is actually formed from three triangles. When you apply this way of thinking, this shape, I just do, I don't know, I actually didn't do math. Nicely done. As you might have noticed, everyone in this town is simply crazy about puzzles. I, strong, I strongly advise you that you solve as many puzzles as you can. Oh, and while I'm at it, I strongly advise you to drop in on Granny Littleton. She's a veritable treasure trove of puzzle-related informalia. Just beware that she's not always home. You get a strange gizmo. What is that strange gizmo? Ah! Nice. Right, anything here I can uh, get my hands on? Huh? No, 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 no. I want to go back. I'm pretty sure there's some coins around here somewhere. No? Well then. So let's go... Stop by the inn, right? <laughs> so how do you... How... So how's you going? Ah, I messed that up. So how go things? Learning the ins and outs of Saint Mysterio, are you? Yep. Solving puzzles is the only way to get around here. That's what the villagers value most. So, how about a puzzle right now, huh? A little practice will keep you from embarrassing yourself in front of others later. As a diehard non-conformist myself, I'm a sucker for any puzzle where you need to find the odd man out. Alright, what is this puzzle, huh? Ugh. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay, let me try to rotate the phone. I, I seriously do not know. Like, I've rotated my phone like 20 times already. Uh, let's try to hint one. The key to this puzzle is knowing where to look. The detail that distinguishes the one picture from the rest has something to do with the cards. Not much is for sure. It's not the number of cards though, because each picture has five cards. Okay. Okay, let me try to rotate again. Okay, details in the cards, right? So red. So they're all the same. They're all the same. Basically, they're all the same. In the in the form of like directions and, and, and the structure. But let me check. Two of the red cards are on top. So let's check if all the red cards are on top. Let check. Yeah, okay, they're on top. How about... Spade bottom... I mean, clubs bottom, spades top... Club. Okay. Sorry, no, 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 no. Spade... The club... Below spade... Under club. Huh? <gasps> I think I got it. I think I got it. Hold on, hold on. The club on the left, uh, for A, the club on the left is on top. 
the spades it's on the bottom of that okay I think I got it. It's D. It's D. For sure it's D. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Okay. Now what? <laughs> you certainly should have puzzled who was boss, didn't you? Seems that the training I've been giving you paid off. Feel free to thank me in a way you can see fit. Well, be seeing you round. We got another one, huh? Got another painting scraps. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. Who is that one? Okay, let's close it. Let's go to the end. There we go. Let's talk to this lady. Beatrice. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the inn at St. Mysteria. We're the only inn in town, you know. Either this city is very small, or you guys are nice. You got a nice inn. You see, visitors to our little village are quite rare. Ah, so that's why. Oh, good day, madam. We seek. Lodging for the night. Do you have any open rooms we could rent? Oh my stars! What terrible timing! We're currently remodeling all of our guest rooms. The only rooms left are in the attics, but if you don't mind that, I'll make sure you're very comfortable. I do hope you'll stay with us. It's been a while since a fine gentleman such as yourself stayed with us. <laughs> Is she hitting on Professor Lane? Sorry, Patrice. But Professor Lane is taken. By Lady Adalia. Alright. The rooms are <clears throat> not very big, but I'll make sure they're sparkled. Can you come back in a bit? Oh. I do my best to get two normal rooms ready for you as soon as possible. Oh, thank you. But you didn't trouble yourself on my behalf. As long as I have a bed to sleep in, I'm satisfied. Again, Professor Lane, the minimalist. Oh yes, about that. Oh, what terrible luck. You see, all the beds are out being refurnished. Refinished. But don't worry. Mama Beatrice is going to take good care of you too. I'll even drop the nightly rate. So we don't even have a bed for our room? What? Are we, what? We're going to sleep on the floor? What kind of inn are you doing, huh? The inn option has been added to your trunk. The inn is, the inn is a puzzle in which you uh, arrange items in Luke's and the professor's room. Huh? All right, let's access that. Here, something to make the place feel a bit more like home. Lankard stool. Where will you? Let's give it to Luke. Okay, is there anything? Oh, nice. Nice, a charm. What's this charm? Sixteen strawberry chocolate. Okay. Okay, let's look at our new inn. You can place finishing you copy in either Luke's or Professor Layton. Tab and drag. It appears in the room in which you place it at the top of the screen. Okay. My god, that's a lot of reading. Dear lord, huh? There's a few things here, but it some seems sort of empty. Ah, oh, I see. What a dump! What if I put it here? Ah, I see. Okay, let's just give it to Luke. Okay, we're done. 
What's this? A hidden puzzle? Let's see. Oh! Looks like one of those Picasso paintings. Okay, a work from a famous artist was recently discovered. The painting is a self-portrait of the painter in his later years, and is entitled My Beloved. Assuming the artist wasn't a huge narcissist, and referring to himself, his beloved should appear in a painting somewhere. Can you find his beloved? <gasps> okay, so it's one of those optical illusion, right? Okay, you gotta move it and rotate it. Okay. Let me rotate my phone to see his beloved. Okay, it's an optical illusion. Oh, I know. It's it's like the black. I know what it is. It's supposed to be like a black. Uh... Maybe. How do I rotate? There we go. Does that look at anything? I think it's like this. Does that look like her? Oh yeah, that's it! Doesn't that look like her? Yeah, she looks like a young woman, right? Because on the top is her hat. Right here is like her mouth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah! Correct! Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this now. That's right! The silhouette of the artist's true love was hidden in the painting. The painting was must have been a tribute to his, his love for her. Or for himself. Easy peasy. Now let's go find some more puzzles, Professor. All right, late uh, Luke. But first, let me um uh, check out this lady's place. Anything I can find up here? No, we're done. We're good. I'll see you back in a while, Patrice. We better get back to searching for Claudia, Professor. Okay. Let's go. Let's go west then. I'm guessing, right? Oh, whoa! <laughs> What's wrong with this guy here? Let's, let's check him out. He's so angry. You know what you need, buddy? You need a snicker. You're not yourself when you don't have a snicker bar. You're not yourself when you're hungry. That's it. He must be very hungry. Okay, Polly. Ah! I have just had it this time. I think I'm going to explode. Like a water balloon filled with rage! What's that? Why am I angry? You ask? Why am I angry? Lend me an ear, will you guy? There are these three bozos in town and we just can't stand each other! It's so bad that none of us want to see each other, ugly mug! But St. Mister ain't a big place, right? Sometimes we cross path on the way to work, and just like that, BAM! Time for a screaming match! I sure do wish we could find a way to keep from bumping it to each other in the morning! Hang on now! You, uh, look like you got a good head on your shoulders! Do a guy, do a guy a favor and help me with this! Okay. What is this? What is this puzzle? Draw a path between one man's home and his work by connecting matching blocks. The catch is that these men can't stand each other, so you have to make sure none of them touches. Okay. So he needs to go from- Okay, so A goes to A, B goes to B. So we gotta make sure they don't touch, right? 
So if I go here, 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 here. Am I blocking anything? Yeah, I totally am. I'm blocked. Because then I would do this. I'm totally blocking. Yeah, there's no way. Reset. Okay, the trick is should be the corners, right? So... How about that? No, 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 that's not it. The trick should be the corners. If we can get the corners out of the way... Because if we go through the center first... It's gonna be... Blocked off. I'm blocking... B. Okay. This one, I'm blocking D. This one I'm blocking D still. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. This is hard. If I go here. How about that? I'm still blocking D. Hmm. Okay, I'm still stuck. C can't be... Uh, let's restart. Alright. So... I can't go directly here. Because it's going to block off everything. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, it's going to block D. D and B. Because if I do this... It's totally blocking it. Regardless of whether I go what direction it is. So I need to find a certain way where D can go across, right? So let's try D first. Hmm. Here? No, no. Maybe. Um. Now let's try A. So it needs to go down. Right? There we go. Now B can go like this. Is this, is this it? Yeah! <laughs> Alright! I had to just worry about D, that's basically it. Nice, that was nice. That's right! Now those guys don't even have to look at each other. Good job! <laughs> ah, thanks a million, guy. I can finally get to work without blowing my stack. You're welcome. Ah, I really mean it, Pally. You're a lot smarter than you look. Uh, is that a backhanded compliment? Because I don't like that. Oh, yeah. Let me clue you in. See that big old mess of a tower beyond the town square? Take a tip from me. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay away from that thing. Well, right then, off. I'm off. Thanks again, buddy. What's the Oh, we got another gizmo. What is this gizmo? Oh, is it gizmo? What? Are those toes or is this his balls? <laughs> alright, alright. So we talked to you already. What? Ah, this time I just live it! It's just too much to take! The needle on my wrath meter is completely buried! Why am I so, uh, so worked up, you ask? It's this placid puzzle! I've been trying to work it out since yesterday! I just can't get it! And it has me so steam, I can't sleep, you stupid jerk for a puzzle! Come here and take a look, will you? Okay, what other puzzles you got for me, huh? Okay. A man has been prescribed 10 pills starting today. 
He must take one pill a day, but because the concentration in the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pill all look the same, the man has decided to write number on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to number if he wants to keep track of the order? What? Okay, let me read this again. Seriously, like seriously, I did not know what- Can you give me a hint, bro? If the man wants to indicate the order in which he needs to take the pill, he just needs to write a number on each of the pills. Well, that's true. The bare minimum of the number he needs to write is fewer than 10. Think about how he can accomplish this. When you have two visually identical items, you only need to mark one of them. Therefore, you don't need to mark each pill to them apart. Seriously. Huh? What? Seriously, I have no idea. A man has been prescribed 10 pills. Okay. Let me think. So he has, he's prescribed 10 pills. Starting today, he must take one pill a day, but because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in specific order. So obviously he knows which pill to take, right? So he knows the first one. So minus nine, so, my, so it'll be nine. And then he should know the last one, right? Because he doesn't need to number it. So one, so one, two, so hold on. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cause he doesn't need to know this and he doesn't need to know this. So eight. I hope it's I hope it's eight. Hopefully. No not no 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 not eighty-eight. No. There we go. Submit. I hope it's right. This is like ah what? Wow, this is, okay, good job. Since the man has to start taking his medicine today, the first thing he should do is take today's pill. Next, he should label the pill for day two through nine. If he does this, he should have the label. Okay, I see, yeah, I get it. What were you thinking, man? And here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why did you have to go and ruin everything? The nerve, what? I just help you out, bro. Like, why would you even be mad at me? Man, this so this guy sounds like one of those crazy guys. But with that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again. So I guess I owe you guys one. Thanks. I know you both have your work cut out for you. So good luck, yeah. You got a strange gizmo. Thank you. What is it? Legs? Oh, I'm guessing this is a toy. Okay, first of all, the question is, should I talk to him again? So just what is the guy, golden apple anyway? The name can make a guy hungry, which can make a guy mad. Okay, let's talk to this lady. She's been quiet. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? Oh, her name is Agnes. A white cat? Cat? Oh yes. It ran over that way toward the park. And may I ask, what are you planning to, on doing with it once you find it? We're going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat and she's asked us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're going to try and catch that cat barehanded? Oh good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here. Cats love treats, so try luring it over with some food. What do you suggest? I've got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing could, could go wild over. I'd be happy to give it to them, to you, if you solve this puzzle for me. Alright, let's see this puzzle, lady. Seven prize winning pigs are la lazing about in a pen. To make sure that the pigs don't fight with each other, you decided to section off the pen with three ropes. 
Can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbor? Remember, not even a snout or a curl tail can sneak over each partition. Okay, this seems kind of easy, right? So what can I do? Ah. That? No. Okay. No. Okay. Over here. No. Huh. Actually, you know what? This might work. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I'm seeing something here. Can I go here? Is that possible? Okay, I need something across. No. No, I have on the left side there's two of them, okay. Alright, no, I can't do that. So how about here, like this? Yeah, that's right, right? That should work. That should work. Here's, my Here's that smile. Thank you, Professor Layton. We got it. Good job. You've made a lot of pigs very happy. I must say, I'm very impressed. Here you go then. Some fish bones, as I promised. Good luck with that cat. You got a fish bone, huh? Okay. Let's see this fish bone. No, I don't have it in here then. Okay, so, uh... Ooh, who's this cute little lady here? <laughs> Andrea, huh? That guy gets so worked up that he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Teenagers these days don't respect their orders. They don't respect their old elders. Right? Anything I can find? Oh look, Professor! I found a hidden puzzle! Well then, what is this puzzle you speak of? Oh, it's one of those darn things that I have a hard time seeing. Okay. The last time we did it was like we fell like three or four times already with that dog thing. Okay. One of the four shapes below has one less match than the rest of them. While studying these four small sharp shapes, your friend approaches you with a riddle. I'm thinking of something that is necessary for human life. It appears in just about every house you ever visited and decreases in amount gradually longer it is around. What am I thinking of? Huh? What? Let me read it again. I'm thinking of something that is necessary for human life. Oxygen? Water? It appears in just about every house you ever visited and decreases in amount gradually the longer it is around. Okay. Let me think. So what are you supposed to do? You supposed to like move it or something or what? Ah, only one move, huh? <gasps> is it like a worm or something maybe? I don't know. Like this maybe? Let me do a hint. The item you are after is necessary for human life. It's found in most homes and disappears gradually of them. You have to answer with a match providing, but don't worry about ranging them into a picture. It's the idea you're after. It's the idea you're after. Oh, it becomes a letter? Maybe I can do it to a letter? Fire, maybe? Hate? <laughs> P? 
patience? Maybe. Poop? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me think. Okay, so it's necessary. Oxygen? O X No. How about Poop? It can't be poop. Can I put it back? What do we need? Water? Fire? F I R no. It appears just about every house you ever visit and decreases in the amount of gratitude the longer it, it is around. Food? Is it? Okay, how do you make food? Okay. F O O. Is that a D? I would think food. What? Try it again. I, it's gotta be. F Maybe I put it wrong. I'm I'm plus positive. It's gotta be food. No, it's not. Okay. It's gotta be food. It's gotta be. I have this at my house too, right? I, I clearly don't know. I, it's gotta be food. There's no way. What? That's what I did. Man, I was. Ah! That's what I did. I must have spelled it wrong or something. I wish all puzzles were this easy. It wasn't that easy. It was not that easy, buddy. Mm mm. Okay. Can go in here. Let's 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 not go in here yet. Um, I need to find out anything. Anything in here? Actually, I need to get that cat. Let's get that cat. Oh, there we go. Oh, puzzle. That filthy jar is. Oh, that filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. A glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. One minute after that, the two germs each split again, forming a total of four germs. Continue at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill the whole entire jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you started with two germs? It takes forever. It takes a Easily. Okay. Let me think here. You know what? Let's 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 do the hint. If one germ becomes two and two becomes four, that means that the number of germs double each minute. Right? Starting with one germ, then how many will you have in one minute? Read the problem carefully. After one minute, the germ splits into two. One minute after that, the germ 
two germ each splits into again. One hour, sixty minutes? Right? Shouldn't be that hard. That's what I'm thinking. Because it fills in one hour. I think I've got it. No! In one minute, one germ becomes two. In other words, the number of germs double by the minute. Ah. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. All right. A single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started? Oh, you had started with two germs. 30 minutes. It's half of that, right? Duh. Half. So 30 minutes. Come on, baby. Daddy's gonna get it right. Daddy got it wrong. Ah. Let's try it again. Try it again. Okay, let me think here. So one, one germ. It goes a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two. So one minute, it splits into two. One minute after that, it splits into four. And then it becomes double that eight. A single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill in the jar if you started with two germs? So we start with two germs, and then it doubles to f a minute later after that, it'll double to four, then eight, sixteen, instead of starting with one. But if it doubles a one minute, so you save. you save a minute, right? So fifty nine. Minutes, because you just save a you just save a minute because it doubles because the first one it only has one and it doubles it doubles to two. So fifty nine. Well, yes. <gasps> All right, we got it good. That was a tricky one. Tricky indeed. Yeah, exactly. You're spot on. Excellent. This jar is actually kind of neat. Why don't we have to take it with us? But my boy, it covered in germs. Hmm, what's this? Something hidden inside the jar? I think you're right. Luke, reach your hand in and see what's inside, will you? How would you do it? Oh, what papers? More puzzle scraps. All right. Uh, let's check out the scraps. Some more stuff. I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe this. Let's go back. Let's close it. Okay, let's check out this cat. Professor, there she is. Quickly then, use the fish bones. Here, Claudia, come here, girl. Meow. Meow. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. Meow. Oh, thank you, old lady. What? It's solved. But I haven't, I haven't clicked up on the... What? No, I need to go back to check out the other one. Uh, having successful... Lee caught Claudia. Professor Layton and Luke decided to head back to Reinhold Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and invest investigating Ms. St. Mystere? Here's some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. <gasps> but there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton Shack in the village square. Visit Austin to track down puzzles you've passed up and work toward completing every puzzle in the game. 
Okay. Little Tin Shack. That's right. Something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. P -p Professor! Oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, well, Madame, we'll be very happy to hear that. But there's no time to worry about a cat. J just hurry upstairs, right this way, please. Who's this guy? Okay, uh... So, you're the famous professor, Leighton, then? The name is Chelmy. Inspector Chelmy. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I hardly call it a case. It is just about Claudia. We brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama missed you so much. But this one's... This, but this cat's not... Uh, <laughs> What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. We were out when this... We were out when this crime took place and don't know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. What? Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address. Simon? <gasps> the one that we hate? <laughs> I would have killed him. I would have. Approximately two hours ago, I received a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see. And the cause of death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton. I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the detail concerning this investigation are classified. Speaking of details, who placed the call to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are class classified? Hmm? Alright everyone, I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. And let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. Wow. This just got ugly real quick. Alright guys, you know what? I'm going to call it a video. Thank you for watching. Uh, Leighton and the Curious Village. It's a mean puzzle. Alright. So, I'll see you guys next time.